Welcome to Vivid. In this short tutorial, we will explain the Vivid Pharmacy software interface and help you quickly connect the Vivid to your pharmacy management system. When interfaced, your Vivid pill counter receives transactions directly from your pharmacy software, and it becomes an integral part of your workflow, streamlining the prescription filling process. Enabling the interface will maximize the functionality of your Vivid and save you time when counting. Before you get started, make sure your Vivid is connected to the Internet. When interfacing, Wi-Fi is okay. However, some software providers may prefer or recommend Ethernet. With an active Internet connection, you are ready to start with Configuration. Press Menu and select Settings. Select the Network tab and press the Settings icon for your network connection. Next, assign a static IP address by disabling the Obtain an IP and DNS address automatically options. Adapter settings are pre-populated with DHCP data, but you can change your IP address if you need to. Note the IP address as you will need it when configuring your pharmacy software. Press Apply to save the settings. When done, restart the Vivid. At this time, enable the required features and services in your pharmacy software. If you need help with this part of the configuration, call your provider. Before continuing, make sure that you know the remote server IP address and outgoing port of the computer or server that runs your software. You can now enable and configure the interface. Press Menu and select Settings. Select the Network tab and press the Interface button. Enable the interface and select your provider. Press the Server tab. Input the remote server IP address and outgoing port number of the computer or server that runs your software. You may have to ask your software provider for this information. Leave the Restrict Incoming IP field blank unless required by your software provider. Set the RX Data Listening Port to 1024 and the Image Log Listening Port to 80. Be sure to press the Set button to save the settings. After enabling the interface, restart the Vivid. Your interface is now configured and transactions received by the Vivid will begin to appear in your RX bin. The most recent transactions are also displayed in the RX bin preview. Now, let's configure your barcode. Press Menu and select Settings. Select the Network tab and press the Interface button. Press on the Barcode tab and scan the transaction barcode that contains the RX number. Your barcode may have additional characters, such as a letter in the front or a dash with the fill number at the end. Those need to be ignored. For example, if the scanned barcode is RX123456-00 and the RX number is 123456, you will have to set the RX number of characters to 6, ignoring the first two characters and the last three. To count a transaction that was sent to the Vivid, simply select Count from the dashboard and scan the RX label. You're all set. Your interface configuration is finished.